Hello everyone, how you doing? It's a rather hoarse sounding Jordan here. It's been a rough day at work, but I'm here to give you a quick look-see review of Valis Collection 2. You may remember that last year I took you through the first collection, well now we have sneaky seconds. Before we get into the review, be sure to hit that subscribe button. It will be the best thing you do today, I promise. So yeah, firstly, this is only available in Japanese right now. There is an English version in development, which may or may not materialize within the next six months, but regardless, it is happening. However, I wouldn't worry too much about waiting, and sure, the menus and stories are in Japanese, but it's really not a major issue. I get that some quaint people in the universe enjoy the story and lore of Valis, but in my experience, it's better if I make up the story in my head. So yeah, the Japanese does me a little bit of a favor here. It enhances my experience. But regardless, let's take a look at what this package holds. We have four games here, which is one more than the first release. Here you get Valis 4, which was the biggest omission from the first package. Something I speculated was due to licensing issues, but no, they just held it back to earn some extra buckage. You can play this game on the Nintendo Switch Online service for the Super Nintendo version, but this is the PC Engine CD-ROM version, which is the superior version. In fact, they might as well be different games. They just have a similar name. You have various characters you can switch between, each with their own pros and cons. The level design is fairly nice for the time, at least compared to some other Valis games where they often forgot to do more than press forward. Don't get me wrong, there's plenty of that here too, but they've started to learn about level design. It's actually quite fun, it's the most accomplished game of the bunch, at least scientifically speaking, although it does harbor huge trial and error gameplay where enemies are almost unavoidable, and even when you've played it before and learned everything, there's so little room to get out of the way of them jumping at you from two inches away. It is good though, and like most Valis games, the music is really nice. The second game in this package, Sid of Valis, also known as Valis SD, for Super Deformed, a deformed version of Valis 2, a cute as buttons action game that I actually like more than the original, believe it or not. Everything is kind of blurred together, but from what I remember, Valis 2 was kind of a step down compared to the other two games in the first collection. This is just fun. I mean, it's really hard. It's almost like a run and gun at this point rather than an action platformer. There's the neat concept of changing your outfits which affect your stats. I love it. I just wish it wasn't so hard compared to the other ones. And surprisingly enough, this game is actually my favorite of the bunch. Maybe of all the Valis games I've played so far. Shock horror. The third game is the Mega Drive version of the original Valis, sort of like a remake. Honestly, compared to the version of Valis found in the first collection, which was the PC Engine remake, which came after this one, this is just not as good in my opinion. Yeah, it is a bit different, but it's really slow and has bad hit detection issues. It's, it's not an awful game or anything, it's just that you've probably already got a better version. Finally, there's the last game in this package, and most certainly, the Afterthought slash bonus game. Remember that time when you once snorted cocaine through one nostril and a bunch of skittles through the other one? Yeah, welcome to Valis on the MSX. This is a headache in video game form. I've played this for 20 minutes and genuinely have no idea what is going on. And I promise you, I did not speed this up. This, this is how the game plays. The programmer for this definitely has something special going on that day in his head, and I hope he's doing well these days. I can imagine him being wrapped up in a straitjacket now. This is utter hilarious nonsense, and it's not just because it's on the MSX. I've played MSX games when I did my huge Jackie Chan retrospective. That dude had a good few games on the MSX, and I played them, and some of them were fine. This... This is like giving a preschooler a Red Bull and some Haribos. It has all the energy and looks like what they puke up afterwards. Jesus. If you need a wake up experience in the morning, this, this is the perfect dose. So that's it, that's four games. Valis 4 is a good game for sure, even if it is trial and error, but that's pretty much par for the course back in those days. Valis SD, I'm almost in love with. It's just dumb, simple fun. Really hard, but I love what it's going for. It's not the best game, but it is my favorite game here, and perhaps my favorite Valis game. Valis 1, the Mega Drive remake, is it's okay, I suppose, but it's just a weaker version of what you already have. And then, well, then you have a kaleidoscope of brain-melting nonsense in Valis for the MSX. Not much more to say about that one. While there are endless more versions of Valis on other consoles, like different ports of the same game, 
I doubt we'll see another package. I don't think we'll see a Volume 3, which is a shame since it means that the only mainline game to miss out is Valis X. Now, Valis X, that's a missed opportunity. A missed opportunity for the developers to get banned from Nintendo's developers list. Yeah, if you don't know what Valis X is, well, frankly, you're a purer person than myself. It's not something you need to know about unless for some reason you own a visual novel YouTube channel like myself and bumped into its existence and then wishing I never did. Don't Google it, your employer will not be pleased. Aside from the games, there are small bonus features like a music player, which is cool for Valis. You have a cutscene player, which was more welcome in the previous package, since here, only Valis 4 has proper cutscenes, at least in quantity. The others barely have any. You can also view the manuals in Japanese here, change the controls, save your game, and even rewind a little bit if you mess up, which you almost certainly do, because these games aren't easy. Now all of this, all of it is currently in Japanese, as I mentioned, it will be in English later on. And no, the Japanese version will probably not get a patch to update it to English, okay? It will be Japanese forever. If you want the English version, you have to wait for the English language release. But to be honest, it made literally no difference in my enjoyment and did not impede on me playing anything. It's very easy to navigate and of course the story is kind of nonsense so it doesn't matter. Anyways, now, my, my thoughts on the package rather than the games. I think I was fairly lenient on the first collection, mainly because I saw it as a small group of passionate developers doing the best with what they had. There were only three games, and I assumed that due to complicated rights issues, that's only what they could provide. But then came along Volume 2 less than a year later, which has somewhat diminished my opinion on the matter. I know Valis is niche, but 90 bucks in total, it's kind of crossed the line. I feel like they play with my naivety here. I'm eternally pessimistic about everything in life, but that one little nugget of goodwill I afforded them, well, it's come back to bite me in my ass. that'll teach me. On the other hand, when it comes to mascot platformers, rarely do they come as niche as Valis. I mean, that's proper digging down the back of the sofa. And when it comes to gaming, the more niche something is, the more you have to explain to the divorce lawyers where all your savings went. This is life. Japanese developers tend not to devalue their gold dust of retro games. I have no idea how much this is going to be when it releases in English, but the last one was 40 bucks digitally, more physically, and this on the Japanese eShop is 6,380 yen, which is about 45 bucks. So yeah, like 85, 90 dollars for the whole set. It's expensive and certainly overpriced in my opinion when it comes to other collections out there. It should have been all on one cartridge for 40 bucks. That that would have been great. However, if that doesn't bother you and you want to grab it on the Japanese shop early, remember, without English, then check the links in the description for eShop credit for the Japanese eShop. Or you can order it physically with the links below and get a 5% discount with our current discount code STEENBOK, which, well, that will run out next week. So if you're watching this in the future, subscribe, watch the latest Let's Get Physical video every Monday for the updated discount code. And of course, you can now pre-order the English physical version if you can stomach giving your money to limited run games. They have a six-week pre-order period for that one. So yeah, if you're watching this in the future, then uh, good luck. You might as well just go for the Japanese version anyway. Overall, look, regardless of value, uh, you've got a quad set of fun enough retro platformers that are a window into a very different culture from a very different time. In that regard, it's a nice little history package that has like really playable games, well, aside from the last one. I wouldn't rush out to buy it because the price for this has certainly put me off. It shouldn't have been split into two volumes, it should have been one really, and w I would have wholly recommended that. But sadly, there is greediness here that tells me to wait for a sale, or perhaps a bundle, one day in the future. That aside, just for the package, regardless of price, the package as a whole for the games, a nice solid 7 out of 10. Okay, thank you so much for watching, if you watched all the way through, then leave me two money bag emojis for the two bags of cash they'll earn instead of one for two packages. I honestly think that one would have been a bigger bag of money in total because that's, that's that's decent value. But yeah, I think they put a lot of people off. Hey, I'm not a businessman for a reason. Please check out the review of the previous collection if you didn't already. I was, I was kind of uh, a bit more generous on that one, as I said. I'd have probably bumped it down a little bit if I'd have known this volume 2 was coming. Check out some of our digital bargains on Sunday and physical Switch releases on Monday. And be sure to check out my brand new channel, A Bit More Jordan, for a lot more me. Check out that Jackie Chan video. There's some MSX games in there. It's pretty good. Go watch it.